Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the dry sand molding. Dry sand molding is one of the form of green sand molding. In the green sand molding, a moisturous sand is packed in the cope and drag and rammed to make a complete mold. After that, molten metal is poured into it. But dry sand molding is one of the different process of green sand molding. What this means? In this, the same sand is baked. This is the difference. The baked sand is formed into a solid and this solid makes uh, castings, casted metals uh, with great accuracy and dimensional uh, quality. This dry sand molding is used for producing uh, the big ferrous and non-ferrous castings like engine blocks, construction parts, etc. The main advantage is it can able to form the precise size and perfect dimension casted parts. Then the factors affects is the proper baking of the mold because the baking is the difference in this dry sand molding when compared to the green sand molding. The baking time and the baking temperature is very much important in making the mold. So it matters and the size, weight and mass of the casting is also a matter of concern. And the key process is baking time in relation to the binder and moisture content. Then applications. Both the ferrous and non-metals can be cast using this method and it can be used for producing intricate designs and uh, it can able to uh, produce engine blocks, large gears, transmission housings etc. Then comes to advantages. The main advantage is it can able to produce casted parts with high dimensional accuracy and complete surface finish and accuracy. Then, though it is an expensive process, accuracy is maintained in every aspect and the process is favored by large foundries. Then, every process has advantages and disadvantages. Here, the disadvantages comes is the consumes more time because in the dry, uh, green sand molding, we if we discuss that. Uh, uh, we take the sand and the binder etc and we pack it in a cope and rack box uh, we place the pattern and ram it and pour the mortar metal but here we want to bake the old uh, molding sand the baking time and temperature the cost also concerns in this type of method but the accuracy is maintained and it is not suitable for the large and heavy size castings and high capital cost for the bake ovens ovens are needed then there is also a disadvantage that the baking um, temperature is not enough means the sand will under bake or over bake it is also an advantage disadvantage if it is under baked or over baked the mold cannot be used for the pouring of molten metal so this is the great disadvantage so this is a short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching